Welcome. My name is Dr. Daniel Barton. I'm a child, adolescent, and adult psychiatrist and medical director of the Tennessee TMS Center. You're probably here because you're wondering what TMS is. TMS stands for Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation. It's an FDA-approved treatment for depression. It's also being used to successfully treat issues like anxiety, PTSD, and OCD. And research is finding the use of TMS to be beneficial with individuals dealing with substance abuse disorders, as well as with some of the symptoms of pervasive developmental disorders like Asperger's or autism. Let's talk about how TMS works. Our brains help in managing our thoughts by creating pathways that communicate with each other via electrical and chemical messengers. Each type of thought or feeling coincides with particular pathways or roads that these signals travel along. The more our brain practices certain pathways, the better it gets at doing whatever it is that we practice. It's kind of like muscle memory, but for the neurons in our brain. Now let's focus on how this translates in depression. Here's a functional PET scan of a typical brain. These researchers labeled to light up oxygen and glucose, which acts as the fuel for our cells, in order to see what areas of the brain are working. This is an equivalent scan of the brain of someone with depression. By comparison, the typical brain has more activity in certain regions, like the frontal lobe, but most importantly, in the central areas where our limbic system is. The limbic system is the emotional center of our brain. In the individual with depression, you could say that the limbic system is way out of practice. This is demonstrated by the area being darker because it's not using the fuel, glucose, or oxygen. We'll come back to this. Now let's look at how treatment works. In TMS, a magnetic coil is placed over the head and uses an electromagnetic field which provides for enough energy to cause the neurons at the surface of the brain to reach what we call an action potential. This is a fancy way of saying the neurons turn on, and like dominoes, those neurons send messages that cause other neurons to fire, which cause other neurons to fire, and so on and so on. This roadway of neurons reaches deep areas of our brain, specifically the limbic system that we talked about earlier, and practices or works out those known pathways of our brain that are associated with being more happy, being less anxious, and being more relaxed and content. Remember him? Here's where TMS shines as a treatment. While a singular positive thought can practice a particular pathway once, a singular TMS treatment will practice that positive pathway three to 5,000 times. A typical course of TMS is around 30 sessions and stimulates positive pathways between 100 to 150,000 times. Now, imagine practicing a golf swing or a tennis serve or a song on the piano 100 to 150,000 times, you'd get pretty good at it. It's just like mom and dad said when you were growing up, practice makes perfect. And that's a lot like what the TMS process is. The more your brain practices these positive pathways, the more of an expert your brain gets at feeling happiness and joy, and the less of an expert it gets at feeling depressed. TMS is a non-invasive, simple outpatient procedure there's no anesthesia, no need for hospital stays. During the procedure, patients can listen to music, watch movies, or chit-chat like normal with family or clinical staff. Patients can drive themselves to our clinic, receive treatment, and then drive themselves back to work, school, or just go about their day as planned. And what about side effects? This is one of the great things about TMS. Because it is a non-systemic, focal treatment, TMS doesn't have any of the traditional side effects of psychiatric medications, which have the potential to cause weight gain, sexual dysfunction, decreased sex drive, memory problems, nausea or stomach aches, problems with sedation, blurred vision, and dry mouth. The most common side effect of TMS is a mild headache during the initial sessions, which disappears over the course of a few days. Most patients, however, report no side effects. TMS is a wonderful option for anyone who has not benefited enough from antidepressant medications or for anyone who has struggled with the many side effects of psychiatric medications. TMS is also a great option for anyone interested in trying a non-medication-based treatment for depression. And while TMS is an effective treatment for major depression, it's also an effective treatment for less severe symptoms and is essentially for the person that wants to feel, well, better. 
You can learn more about TMS and the Tennessee TMS Center at www.tennesseetms.com or give us a call at 615-900-4442 to meet with either myself or our staff. For up-to-date news and research on TMS therapy, follow our blog nashvilletmscenter.wordpress.com or visit us on Facebook. Thanks for visiting and we hope to talk to you soon.